In a graduating class of 236 students, 142 took algebra and 121 took chemistry. What is the greatest possible number of students that could have taken both algebra and chemistry? Well, the easiest way to, to see this is to represent it in a Venn diagram. And so what we have here is a universe with 236 people overall, right? As we're going to see, that's not actually super relevant. Uh, 236 people overall. And in this universe, we have some people who take algebra and some people who take chemistry and then potentially some people who take both. Now, the both is represented by this overlap here, right, where the two circles uh, overlap each other. So if we want to know the greatest possible number of students who could have taken both, we want to make this overlap as big as possible. Well, how do we do that? We start moving the circles together, right? The, the closer the circles move, the bigger that overlap becomes until one circle is completely inside the other. The smaller circle is completely inside the bigger circle. Now, how many people are in this smaller circle? Well, they told us. Chemistry, right, is the smaller one out of these two, 121 people. So the maximum number of people who could have taken both algebra and chemistry is 121. For more GRE tips and tricks or to enroll in my 16-hour live online course, follow the link in my profile.